that the United States, which set the precedent for fair internet rules, has lost net neutrality. Now, the country's telecom regulator has repealed net neutrality rules, allowing telecom operators and service providers to substantially spike up user charges. But netizens have launched a massive protest against the move. Yons Aditya Dhunna reports on this story. You still shop for all your Christmas presents online. Yes, got that bulk deal on fidget spinners. Meet the man who is yes. behind the move to repeal net neutrality in the United States. Here's Ajit Pai defending his stance against fair internet rules in a recent public service ad. What Ajit Pai does not say, however, is that American service providers now have the power to substantially overcharge their users. The repeal of net neutrality now allows internet providers to put in additional charges for high-speed access to certain websites or content. Internet users are up in arms against the move. They are even willing to mount a legal battle against the ruling. So Ajit Pai is a former lawyer for Verizon, and sometimes it seems like he's still working for them in the telecom industry. He's asking uh, consumers to basically put their trust in companies like Comcast and Verizon, companies who said that they want in the past that they want to discriminate against online traffic. He's asking us to trust them. We shouldn't have to. We should have uh, rules on the books that make net neutrality uh, enforceable and that, guarantee, and that guarantees it for consumers. Americans are raising questions over Ajit Pai's approach to the controversial vote. They feel the repeal of net neutrality is engineered to only favor big businesses. Um, I'm really upset about it. I think that one thing is like a, a large majority of people who are polled are for net neutrality. And I think basing it off of a lot of the comments that have come from like suspect sources um, for the notice and comment period is like really troubling. And I think it just gives more power to like fewer corporations instead of people. I have a small business. I, you know, try and create websites for, for my stuff. And it seems like that's just going to get away in the of the small people. You know what I mean? That's how I see it, if that's what they're trying to do. It's just going to get away in the way of all the small people that are trying to get on the internet and do something specific. The battle for net neutrality now shifts to the U.S. Congress. The voice of the netizens has received the backing of the Democrats. They plan to mount pressure on the Trump administration to nullify Ajit Pai's order. Bureau Report, we own.